this is Starry from Starry Sky Gaming and welcome to this updated ICE DPS range loadout video. Now this video is going to be showing you a couple of changes I've made to the loadout I use for ICE DPS and explaining from the why I've made the changes to it. So what I'm going to do also do is I'm going to take you through the PowerPoints, then the loadout, explain why, and then I'll show you the rotation. So let's go straight to the PowerPoints and in the storm tree we have PowerPoints in Inescapable Storm, Arctic Gust, Glacial Flash, Blizzard, Bitter Winds, Avalanche, Resonating Gale, Wintry Tempest. In Cryogenics, we have power points in Cold Snap, Snowball, Ice Bash, and Reflection. And then in the Iconics, we have Weapons Expert, Tactical Genius, and then I had a power point left over. So for me, I always like to have a nice bit of HP is DPS, so I just want to put it in powerful resistance. It's 100 HP. It's quite nice to have. Okay, so now to load out. Now the changes I've made is that I've literally got rid of Impale and Ice, because to be honest, you can do more damage quicker without using it. And also I've added in uh, Reflection to get Chill Armor quicker. So pretty much, I'm just going to call this one the SSG Chill Factor Loadout. It just suits it nicely. So we have Wintry Tempest, Reflection, Resonating Gale, Snowball, Ice Bash, and Supercharged Blizzard. Now the rotation to it is simple. Wintry Tempest clipped with Ice Bash, and then once the uh, frost, you know, the, the field AoE is on the floor, we can take advantage of the power interaction, use Resonating Gale to try and get to get the chance to put down an, to put down an additional icy field to do more damage over time. On every finger hits, plus it hits hard anyway. And then we're basically Resonating Gale clipped with Reflection, clipped with um, what's it called, Karma Hex. So yeah, for this loadout, I would recommend you use Karma Hex. It's very it makes this loadout a lot faster to clip with. And then we would be using um, Weapon Attacks and clipping that with Snowball. Now, I am on the test server at the moment, so. Um, I will be using the updated version of the hand blasters. Right now, instead of having the hold one, it's just well, it's just have a hold charge attack. It's just hold range, and then tap straight into solar flare. It's really quick, and you can get a nice bit of damage from it. Okay, so let's go to sparring target. Sparring target. Okay, so simply we're just gonna take step by step, right? This is the new version of the hand blasters, right? Instead of, normally all you have to do is hold and charge, right? What you do is press hold once, and that's how quick it is. Now imagine how much quick you can go into solar flare doing that, clipping of snowball. It's really quick and you get a lot of damage from it. Oh, also my character is full precision spec on this, um, on the test server. And that's probably the way I will be going with ice anyway. Just because the might itself doesn't hit too hard, so the higher, mo so the highest DPS will be coming from my weapon, and then clipping it mostly with uh, snowball and so forth, and getting the chill factor armor to get the 50% damage modifier. Now the weight of how quickly you can, I should say, spam hand blasters, that's quite a bit of DPS you can get from it. So if you are full position, do not worry. Hand blasters, for AOE, brawler, for single target. Okay, so literally, it's going to be hand blaster, wintry tempest, clip the ice bash. Hand blasters. As you can see, it's a very quick rotation. Yes, it is power hungry, but you get a lot of damage from it. Though. And as you can see, you can get the attack from hand blasters going really, really quick. It's quite crazy, actually. Let's drop a supply top. Supply the drop, I should say. Okay, buffs myself up. Hopefully, the sparring target will start giving me a bit more power. As you can see, simple, easy loadout to use, fast rotation, and a lot of high damage. So you, with this loadout, you can go precision and might if you really want to, but I'm going to be going full precision because I'm just going to be putting down my dots, getting the ice field, uh, 
using Ice Bash and Reflection to get the Chill Armor, so get 50% damage modifier, and then most of the damage will be coming from my Hand Blasters clipped with Snowball. Be a lot of AoE damage. So, let's just do the rotation one more time. Target is just getting destroyed. We get a chill armor really quick, so that's a 50% damage modifier, and we're just doing a lot of fast damage. this updated video on um, ice on my ice range DPS will help you guys out this is like the loadout I just run with now for like all the contents it does a lot of damage especially with um, since it right you've seen me I'm trying out with the updated hand blasters so when the update does go live you can actually get the idea of how much damage this thing can do as you can see it's really quick it does a lot of damage and hand blasts plant blasters are just incredibly good now, just so quick. So, um, thank you very much for watching this, and until next time, I'll see you then. You have my power. Green Lantern's life!